welcome back to another video. I'm Baker Betty and today I have a different kind of video for you because I want to share with you my vintage glassware collection. Now Pyrex is the brand that got me really interested in vintage milk glass, but I don't really discriminate against brands. I like all vintage milk glass and I collect several different brands. I have Pyrex, Fire King, Glass Bake, Hazel Atlas, Federal Glass, really any kind of vintage milk glass that I can find. Now to start, I wanna go through all of my Pyrex patterns. And if you're looking for a specific pattern that you wanna know more about, I'm going to timestamp each one so you can skip to a different section if you're interested in a specific one. But I think we need to start with the primary set because this is the first time that Pyrex put any color on any of their glassware. So the primary color set came in the nesting bowls and this refrigerator set and it was made from 1945 to 1968. So it had a pretty long run and I feel like this is one of the most iconic sets of Pyrex. Many people remember their grandmothers mixing in this set. A lot of people will tell me that the yellow bowl was their popcorn bowl. And if you look at the bottom of your primary set, if you do have these bowls, you might notice that your set either has numbers on them, it would say something like 401, 402, 403, or 404, depending on the size. And that means that your bowls were produced sometime between 1950 and after. If your bowls do not have those numbers on it, it means that they were produced before 1950. And those bowls tend to be a little bit more sought after by some collectors because they were the earlier bowls. Okay, so next up is the pink gooseberry pattern. And this is the pattern that really got me hooked on collecting Pyrex. I purchased this Cinderella bowl set as a gift to myself when I signed my cookbook deal. And then a family friend of mine gave me these. These are the round casserole dishes, and these were her mother's. And that is super special to have in my collection. Now this style of bowl that has the little handles with the pour spout is called the Cinderella bowls. And I think because Cinderella was really popular at the time, they kind of tried to capitalize on that brand to bring some attention to Pyrex, but all of these ones with the pour spout are called the Cinderella bowls. Now, as far as the gooseberry pattern goes, it was also made in this yellow and black version in the US. So this is called the yellow gooseberry, but it was also made in several other colors in England. So there is a brand of Pyrex called JAJ Pyrex that was produced in England. And I have one piece of JAJ Pyrex, which is this turquoise gooseberry pattern. This was not made in the US. This is really special to have over here, but they also made it in a coral color and in a duck egg blue color. So next up is the Pyrex butter print pattern. And I feel like this is also one of the most iconic patterns of Pyrex because it was produced for a really long time and tons of people had this pattern. A lot of people also like to refer to this as the Amish pattern or Amish butter print because of the illustrations on the bowls. This is the pink daisy pattern, and this is actually the first pattern that Pyrex ever put on any of its pieces. And a lot of people know this pattern as the Marvelous Miss Maisel pattern because it is featured in that show. I have a few pieces of the early American pattern, and all of the pieces I have are the brown with gold print. However, there are also lots of pieces in this collection that are white with brown print, and this came in tons of different sizes and styles. This set is simply called Dot Bowls, and when it was originally released, it was only the top three bowls, and then they came out with the green bowl later, and it was sold separately. So that one is the most difficult to find in this set. So this is the friendship pattern, and I think this pattern is very iconic of the 70s. It really looks kind of like the Partridge family with the really cute little lovebirds. This is the butterfly gold pattern, and I actually have two versions of this pattern. This is butterfly gold one, and it was produced in the early 70s. And then this is the second version, which was produced in the late 70s. And both of these patterns are very easy to find. They were produced in tons of different shapes and sizes. And if you're gonna go out thrifting, this is a pattern that is usually pretty easy to find. This is the Spring Blossom Green Pattern 1. Just like the Butterfly Gold, it was produced in two different versions, but I only have the first version. And a lot of people have renamed this pattern to be Crazy Daisy. And it was produced in so many different shapes and sizes. It is also a very easy one to find when you are out thrifting. 
This is the autumn harvest pattern and being from Kansas and a baker, I love this pattern because of the wheat design. And the same family friend that gifted me the pink gooseberry casserole dishes gifted me these from her mom's collection. So they're even extra special. So I do have a couple promotional pieces in my collection of Pyrex and these patterns were always produced only one year or even one season. So they can be a little bit more difficult to find. And this was just advertised as chip and dip set, but people have titled it balloons because there are hot air balloons on the patterns. And it originally came with a metal bracket that sat in the back of the large bowl. And then the smaller bowl sat down in it so you could have your chips in the big bowl and your dip in the smaller bowl. These are two other promotional pieces from my Pyrex collection. And this is called the Atomic Eyes set. It originally had a larger bowl just like the balloon set and was a chip and dip set. And then this one is called Diamonds. Now both of these bowls are a lot harder to find than most of the other patterns I have shown you. They're not extremely rare. You can definitely find them, but you do not see them very often. So this is the newest addition to my Pyrex collection and the most unique piece in my Pyrex collection because this is a Guy Pyrex. I think that's how you say it. But a Guy Pyrex is the Pyrex that was made in Australia. I actually purchased these from somebody in New Zealand, but I believe the pattern is just called lemons. It has this really adorable lemon print on them. And this is not something you could find in the US. You would have to find it from somebody overseas. So next up, we are moving on to the brand Fire King. And these style of bowls are called splash proof bowls because they're more narrow and tall so that you're not splashing out when you are mixing. And this pattern is called tulips. I have two of the splash proof bowls there were four in the set and then I also have the grease jar so you would set this beside your stove and pour grease into it when you're cooking and I really love this set this set is also fire king also in the splash proof style and this is called red dots this also came in black dots and both of those colors also came with one of those grease jars which I don't have so the last of my splash proof bowls are these Fire King Kitchen Aids bowls. And this is one of my favorite patterns. I love the adorable baking illustrations. And this is one of the harder to find Fire King patterns. So I do have a few pieces of Fire King Jadeite glass. And this is very highly collectible. I don't have a huge amount of it. A lot of people really focus on collecting Jadeite. But I just have one of the Fire King Swirl Jadeite bowls. This is called a batter bowl, so you can mix your batter in it and easily pour it. And then these are pretty hard to find. These are the Swedish teardrop bowls. These can be extremely expensive. I got very lucky on the find of these, and this actually comes in a four bowl set, so I am missing the two middle sizes of these jadeite teardrop bowls. So this set is probably one of the hardest to find sets I have in my collection, and also one of my very favorite sets in my collection. This is a glass bake set, and these were known as the homemaker bowls, but a lot of times people refer to them as measurement bowls because each bowl has different illustrations with different measurement conversions on them. Now, it was very difficult to find information about these, but if you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen that I enlisted the help of Billy Billy B, who's kind of known as the Pyrex lady on TikTok, and she helped me dig around and find some information these were sold in a catalog for a very short period of time, but based on some firsthand accounts from people that Billy Billy Bee helped me find, we learned that these likely came as a promotional item with the purchase of a GE stove in the 60s. So they weren't something that you could go purchase from a catalog or from a store. So they're very difficult to find. This is another glass bake set that I found, and it's actually an unmarked set. Usually it will say glass bake on the bottom, but this doesn't have any kind of brand on the bottom. But when you start collecting glassware, you start learning the shapes. This is undoubtedly a glass bake set. I can tell it's identical to that homemaker set that I have. And this pattern has been printed on many different brands. It's usually referred to as blue onion, and you'll see it on brands outside of glass bake as well. Pyrex has printed it and a few other brands as well. And I do have one piece of glass bake blue heaven print. This is very iconic glass bake pattern. It feels very 50s and I just love this pattern. So next up we have this set that is Hazel Atlas. And I found this very recently at a vintage market in my hometown in Kansas. 
It was all stacked up and on top of it, I saw this little note tucked inside and it says, Christmas gift, Paul to Rose, December 1937 which that just makes this so much more special to me that I know it was a Christmas gift from whoever Paul is to Rose and all the way from 1937. This is a very hard to find set. It is called the Dutch Skater Set and it came in several different colors, red, green, blue, and from my knowledge, the blue is the most difficult to find. So my last notable Hazel Atlas bowls are these two. I believe they were referred to as KitchenAids as well. They were made to kind of look similarly to the Fire King KitchenAids bowls. A lot of times these competing brands kind of made similar patterns to each other. And this came in obviously the turquoise and the red, and I believe it also came in orange. Now these two bowls are really unique pieces in my collection. I really don't know a ton about them. I believe the brand is called Opalex, and I believe they were made in France. And I just love this blue color. They have the same similar shape as the Fire King Splash Proof Bowls, but if you know anything about these bowls, please leave me a comment in my comment section. I would love to know more. And while I'm sharing with you my collection, I thought I would go ahead and share with you a few pieces of enamelware I have. Obviously, these aren't glassware, but this is Catherine Holm Lotus Print. Catherine Holm is a brand from Norway, and this print was really popular in the 60s. And I have a few of the mixing bowls and a tea kettle. And one of the most common questions I get whenever I share my collection is how do I stack my bowls this way in order to beautifully present them? And I have a few different ways. I often use these deli containers. I'll just stack them up to the height that I need or add a few extra lids. Um, in one of my Pyrex groups, I also learned to take a little Ziploc bag, fill it with rice, and that can kind of make a pretty stable base because you can kind of nestle it into the rice. Or I'll often just use some little milk glass ramekins that I have around, just basically whatever I can find to lift the bowls up. Thank you so much for letting me share my vintage glassware collection with you. I will leave a link to my Etsy shop down in my profile. Whenever I have extra pieces that I'm not keeping from my collection, I will list them there if you're interested to have a look there. And I will be back next time with another baking tutorial. Bye.